We are all familiar with protein, which along with fat and carbs make up the three macronutrients which us humans consume. So proteins are made up of smaller building blocks, known as amino acids. Each of these amino acids has its own important function within the body, many of them overlapping. Of these amino acids, some can be made within the body. They are classified as non-essential, while others can only be obtained through diet. These are classified as essential. Protein molecules all have different ratios of amino acids. But in order for a protein molecule to be considered complete, it must contain enough of the essential amino acids which humans need. As you can see, we need them in different amounts. Of these amino acids, three are unique in that they have a branched side chain. These are the BCAAs, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Each of them confer different benefits, and some have been shown to be more beneficial than others. Leucine is sometimes referred to as the main amino acid due to the most popular benefit of BCAAs, muscle building, being mostly due to leucine. Leucine is an activator of the protein known as mTOR, which induces muscle protein synthesis, which is the building of muscle. When metabolized into HMB, it also reduces muscle protein breakdown. Isoleucine, as far as its muscle building effects go, is kind of like leucine light, in that it also triggers muscle protein synthesis, but to a lesser extent than leucine. Isoleucine, though, unlike leucine, is able to significantly increase glucose uptake and the usage of glucose during exercise, which as we know from my last video on aerobic and anaerobic activity, glucose is the main precursor to muscle energy. Valine seems to have the least benefits of the three. It is more similar to leucine than isoleucine, but anything it can do, the others can do much better. In street language, you could say valine is pretty waste. Knowing all that though, it's easy to say you should be taking them. Remember though how we said that in order for protein to be considered complete, it must contain enough of the essential amino acids? Well, that included branch chain amino acids. If you're consuming enough complete protein sources, you'll be accessing the majority of the benefits of BCAAs. There will be no need for you to supplement since your food will have enough. However, some evidence does suggest minor benefits to consuming BCAAs during your workout. During a workout, a powdered supplement would be a lot more fast acting and convenient than breaking out the canned tuna. If you're on a fast or your protein intake is low, such as during an aggressive diet, serum levels of BCAAs, in other words, the reserve of BCAAs circulating in your blood, will be low and become depleted more quickly when you exercise. Studies have noticed an increase in the time to exhaustion and a decrease in exercise-induced fatigue in lifters who supplemented with BCAAs during their workout. It's important to note though, that these benefits were found primarily in new lifters and less in experienced ones. TLDR, if you want a minor decrease in exercise-induced fatigue, you would benefit from taking BCAAs during your workout, particularly if you aren't eating as much as your body might like. These benefits are more pronounced in new lifters. I hope you all enjoyed that and let me know if there's a topic you think we should explore next. Until next time. You tell